Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney Springs and there's a new cookie of the month at Gideon's Bakehouse for November. So I'm so excited to actually go try it. And then also I wanted to do some shopping and see if there's anything new. So we're gonna eat some food, maybe at one of the fancy restaurants, do some shopping at the World of Disney and have a beautiful Disney Springs kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. It is such a beautiful day out today. A little bit chilly though. In fact, yesterday was Halloween and the temperature was in the 80s. And then this morning I woke up, it's November 1st, and it dropped down to the 60s. So I actually had to put a hoodie on this morning. Honestly, I'm excited for it. It's always amazing to be able to come out and experience the parks when it's not so hot You're not a sweaty mess and plus finally I get to wear some like comfortable hoodies and this is a Roosevelt hoodie This is actually monsters uh, monsters Inc. These are all doors. Isn't that so cool? I always like to point it out because this is one of my favorite hoodies, but uh, yeah, I'm excited for the day and uh, It's gonna be fun. We're gonna eat some cookies I figured I'd make my way over to Gideon's first to see if they have a standby queue or if they're doing a virtual queue. And it actually looks like they're doing standby. Maybe. Oh, nope. It's a virtual. It looks like it's a very long line, actually. Oh, yeah. Oh, the first uh, day of the new cookie. Look at that. Everyone likes to come out. Here is a look at the new menu for November, and I like the artwork on the front here. It actually looks really, really cool, and it's going to be a nice little addition to my collection. I like to save these. I collect them, actually. And the cookie of the month, November's limited edition flavor, is the pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie. Doesn't that sound amazing? And then I also found out that they have a pumpkin cake slice for today uh, that they actually sell, and it's not on this menu. You, so I'm gonna be getting that too, but oh wow. Oh the French toast nitro cold brew Well, the wait time was only about 20 minutes and I ended up getting basically Everything pumpkin. I literally did. I got almost everything pumpkin. I got the pumpkin cake slice I got the pumpkin cookie and I got the pumpkin cold brew. Look at that. We're pumpkinly blessed Oh, yeah, there we go the goods. We need to get it all and now let me show you I love how everything says limited edition on it. And first, I think we'll start with the pumpkin chai spice cake. This is a flavorful pumpkin spice cake that's covered with candied pumpkin seeds and also chai buttercream. And look at that. Wow, it looks so good. And I love how they do double frosting too. And then we also have the pumpkin bread chocolate crumb cookie. I'm gonna un wrap this oh it's upside down oh look at that look at the crumb on top this looks so good it's filled with uh real pumpkin and then they have like a special house pumpkin spice blend a little bit of chocolate on the inside i'm excited all right pumpkin first thing the pumpkin uh crumb cookie how many times do you think i could say pumpkin in this video <laughs> Anyways, here we go. Let's dive into the pumpkin. Of course, you gotta break the cookie. The pumpkin-y pumpkin bless. There we go. Oh, wow, it's so soft. Look at this. Oh, boy, I gotta get a catcher. I'm sliding this in because it's gonna fall apart. Look at that. Holy moly. This cookie is knocking it out of the park. What a combination. Honestly, the chocolate on the inside there, can you see it? And then the pumpkin, oh wow. It's like real pumpkin filling in there. Like real pumpkin pie filling in there, I feel like. That is incredible. That, wow. Enough of the pumpkin cookie business. Now, it's time to get to the pumpkin cake slice. And I'm excited because I want to make sure I get some of those candy pecan slices in there too. And the buttercream icing. There we go. You guys know in the beginning when I said the cookie looks like it could be a contender for my favorite cookie. Well, sadly, it's not. I mean, the banana bread is just so good. I can't, I, you know, it, it's got to be something amazing to knock that out of the number one spot. Now, this cookie is amazing. I'd probably put it in my top five, but the cake slice is my favorite cake slice I think I've ever had. And I wasn't expecting the crunchiness of the candied uh, pumpkin seeds in there, but they are amazing. Look at that. 
Hold on, let me soup in. Look at this. That's in between the cake and the icing. That is little like pits, little like bits of uh, candied pumpkin seeds, I think, or something, or crumb, or something. That, oh my lord, I love this cake. If you're that type of person who loves pumpkin pie, and not just loves pumpkin pie because it's pumpkin season, I mean, you crave pumpkin pie, I think you'd love this cookie. It could be the best combination cookie cake, you know? I would say this might be the best combination cookie cake. I mean, honestly, I don't think nothing's ever gonna beat that banana bread, like the banana chocolate chip cookie. I just love bananas so much, but wow. That, look at that. That is the pumpkin filling and chocolate in there. It looks so good. I mean, wow, kudos. Normally, it's all about the cookie business, but the pumpkin, the pumpkin cake literally stole the show today. Now I gotta go pumpkin cold brew, pumpkin cake. Mm. I'm gonna need something with icing on, not icing though. That was literally just, uh, <laughs> I need some of the cake. That was literally just a forkful of icing. But here we go. Well, that was a pleasant way to start the day. Some pumpkin cookies, a pumpkin cake slice, and uh, pumpkin cold brew. I mean, honestly, I'm all about that business. It's November now, I can't wait for turkey dinner. In fact, we'll probably get dinner here somewhere. I wish they had turkey dinner like year round. If there was somewhere here I can get turkey dinner, I'd go get it right now. Like I'm that ready for Thanksgiving. Uh, and then also I wanna go shopping. I think we're gonna make our way over to the world of Disney. Enough of the cookie business. As I was walking through Disney Springs, I wanted to point out, did you know that you can actually come here and buy tickets to Disney? Actually at Disney Springs, they have a Disney ticket center here. Kind of cool, just wanted to point it out. It looks fun in there. They've got a castle and Typhoon Lagoon. Speaking of Typhoon Lagoon, did you guys know Blizzard Beach is actually opening up in November? They're opening up a water park in November. Like it's been closed, like it's seasonal, but uh, it opens up in just a couple of days and I'm excited. And also I like going there to actually renew my annual pass. A lot of times like you can just renew your annual pass like online, but I feel special coming down to Disney Springs or going to the Magic Kingdom and waiting in line and then you get up there and you're like, hi, I'd like to renew my annual pass. I don't know, it just feels a little bit different. And if you go down to the Amway Center in Orlando, they used to give you a free jersey. Like you actually, when you went to the Orlando Magic at Amway, you, there's like a Disney uh, like ticket center. If you go there, they uh, they used to be able to give you a free jersey if you renew your annual pass. I don't know if that's true still. That was a couple years ago, but still a fun thing to point out. The last time I was at Disney Springs, I ended up uh, buying a gigantic Mickey pumpkin. Or actually, no, the last time I was at Disney Springs was way cooler. Like the last time I was at Disney Springs, I got to hang out with Brian Cranston and Aaron Paul from Breaking Bad, and it was cool. I actually made a video. We actually were at Epcot earlier, and we even rode Guardians of the Galaxy together. That was so cool, but what I was referencing was the last time I was here, I made a video, I ended up going to the World of Disney and buying a gigantic Mickey pumpkin. And I'm not buying anything today unless it's something really, really cool. But I want to see if there's any Christmas stuff in there. You never know. I mean, it's not too early. Halloween was just yesterday. There it is, the world of Disney. I love coming in here and I love going shopping. I never noticed the hidden Mickeys on the pillars up there though. Huh, always finding new things here in Disney. Oh wow, look at this. The Christmas merchandise has arrived. Wow, $79.99. Look at that, I kind of like the Spirit jersey a lot. And they got the Crocs and slippers and backpacks. They got everything, I mean, I, I don't know if this stuff was here before, like November, if they just put this all out last night. But they got a whole selection, whole section, a whole selection. Oh, even a train too, look at, wow. Oh my, Lanta, it goes on and on. There's more over here. We got another spirit jersey. I like the other one better. <laughs> I mean, that one's nice. Oh, I do like this one because it's like a spirit sweater jersey. Oh, I wonder if this is the same price. $99.99. Wow, you don't say. And then you've got some Bruno Christmas shirts. You're the real gift, kid. Oh, I like that. Oh, and then also... I love this one with Genie on there, Dumbo, Bambi. Actually, I like this animation a lot. This this hoodie is really cool. Wow, oh, does it say Walt Disney World on the bottom there? I honestly might wanna get this, but I don't know if I should wait. 
I don't think I'm ready to actually buy any of the Christmas stuff. The whole entire Disney merchandise game has changed, you know? Used to be back in the day, there was like a hot like item and everybody would buy that one item. Now Disney just like, they keep on releasing more and more items, you know what I mean? Like they put out this stuff, but they're gonna keep on putting out more stuff and you think that that item might be the hot item, but the next one's gonna be better. So then you end up buying more. So that's why I'm gonna wait till I see more things come out and then maybe I'll start getting in the holiday spirit. But I still want to keep looking around for non-holiday merchandise, you know, something else that might catch my fancy. I'm, not, I'm sure I'm probably not going to find anything in here. Everything's very expensive. I mean, actually, they have probably the most expensive. Oh my lord, is that a gigantic spaceship Earth? Look at that, $79,000. That's kind of cool though, and you can even buy the pylons too, for uh, just around $1,300. Does come with a certificate of authenticity to let you know that this is Spaceship Earth. <laughs> if you thought the $80,000 Spaceship Earth was something, wait till you see Cinderella Castle. $285,000. Almost $300,000 for this Cinderella castle. Look at that. Well, look at the detail. Look at it actually just spin around. I'm going to try to focus in a little bit. Isn't that amazing? I mean, for $285,000, I really hope you get this whole entire stand. And you get to, like, have it on display just like this. I, I don't think I would want it any other way. Look at the back of the castle. Look at all of the detail, and it's just so shiny. So shiny. Does anybody else automatically think of Timotoa whenever they say shiny? As I was admiring the $300,000 castle, I looked to my left, and look at what they got in the PhotoPass studio. This is my first time actually coming in and getting to see this, and Halloween was yesterday, so it's actually gonna be leaving soon, and they're gonna replace it probably with something for Christmas or the holiday season, and I'm glad I, I stepped into it, cause now I wanna take my photo. That is just so awesome. I remember they just had like backgrounds, like they had like, you know, your regular backgrounds, but they actually have like physical props now. And this is all free. You can actually come to Disney Springs and uh, you can get your photos taken with these awesome props and soon Christmas ones. And it's actually free even more if you have the annual pass or the memory maker, because then you get those photos for free. You know what I mean? Using the studios free, but you still have to pay for them unless you have the memory maker. But that's awesome. Oh, look at this right here. Nice little frame. I like that. Oh, my mom would buy that, especially if it had the year on it. She loves buying things with the year on it, I tell ya. I gotta hang out in the co-op more often. I mean, they've always had great things. It's one of my favorite places to shop, but like they're taking it to a next level. They've got Disney Tales in here. It's like the pet store. And then they also have Wandering Oaks back there now. Look at this. Yoo-hoo, big summer blowout. Wander and Oaken's trading post. That's really, really awesome. Oh, and they're actually having a sale back here. Oh, buy one, get one 50% off on adult apparel items. I wonder what they got. I'm gonna take a little gander here. 25th anniversary of Animal Kingdom, you don't say. At one point, I bet you these were really hard to get. Now they're buy one, get one 50% off. They have the 50th anniversary hoodies too. Look at that. They have plus size, look at plus 2XL. I've never even seen that as an option. They have all sizes. Usually, like that's, that's pretty impressive. They have all sizes available on most of these items in here. This is, I, usually when you go to like a, uh, like a uh, like sale, it's always like one certain item. But look, they have everything from extra small going up to 2XL on everything, or 3X. No, I don't see any 3X. Just X small, extra large, 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 2X. Oh, and with some more shirts over here. Nice little button up, a little. Oh, I like this one. Very fancy, I don't know how much it is, it doesn't have the thing. This is a treat. 
That was a fun shopping experience. I'm glad I didn't walk out with a giant size Mickey pumpkin or anything. You know what I mean? It's a little too, maybe December. December, I bet you, is going to be our big holiday shopping month. Even though I kind of want to go home and put my tree up now. But now I'm getting all excited about it. But we're going to wait. We're going to wait. We got to get to Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving first. Now I've got myself wanting to come down to the Days of Christmas store here at Disney Springs. This is open year round. The magic of the holidays never ends. It's greatest of gifts are family and friends. And also look at the Dalmatian. Look at the Dalmatians they have here. I always like coming in right on top of the fireplace. Gracie approves. This one actually kind of looks like Gracie a little bit. Except for she doesn't have the spots on the top there and a lot of spots, a lot of spots missing in the back there. It's never too early to start looking for Christmas ornaments. I think my mom, uh, she used to shop for Christmas ornaments all year round. I remember that. I used to be like, why are we buying Christmas stuff in July? And you know what I mean? Like, but my mom had the, uh, she had the right idea. And they got plenty to choose from in here. A lot of Moana. I actually like the Moana ones. This one's cool because it's actually popping out a little bit. Oh, and the glass slipper. Very, very fancy. But these are expensive. And I'm afraid that they break easily. Like most ornaments, $26.99. Holy moly, it's $30 for one ornament. Man, you know, that was always the biggest thing. Wrapping and packing up the ornaments. We used to have to go around and collect newspapers. My mom used to go make us go get newspapers so we can wrap up all the ornaments extra tight so they don't break. Now I know why. $26.99. This was a big mistake and I should have never come in this store because there are certain things in here that I am really contemplating on buying right now because I'm in love with them and I don't, I, that's not, this isn't the time. As some of you guys are aware, I am a very avid Disney collector. I like to buy, you know, different Disney props, original animation, but take a look at this over here. I saw this and I was in love immediately. I love this. These are the uh, voice actors of uh, Pongo and Perdita. Look at that, signed by them. I love it. Rod Taylor and uh, Lisa Daniels. And uh, it is selling for $475. I didn't do it. I didn't do it. I thought I was going to do it, but I didn't do it. And the reason why is because, now, now don't get me wrong, I was going to say that it's not worth the price in there, but it is worth the price because there is no better trusted source than Disney themselves when you're buying original animation, signatures, anything like that. Like that is the certificate of authenticity right there, uh, but you could buy it at a lower price. Uh, they have signed plenty of different uh, you know prints before in the past and I do know a couple of people that are very trustworthy so I'll look for them elsewhere but I like that whole setup it is very nice and I definitely will get it I will just not for $490 it's probably a good idea for us to start trying to figure out where we want to go have some dinner at I mean, there's lots of great spots here at Disney Springs, but I kind of want to do something I haven't done in a while or something I've never done, but I don't think that's possible here at Disney Springs. I feel like I've eaten at every single restaurant here. I am so torn right now because I love going to eat at the boathouse and I know there's going to be an amazing sunset tonight. But like I said, I want to try something different. I feel like I eat at the boathouse at least once a week. But look at that sunset. Imagine sitting on the dock. I wonder if there's another place. Oh, it looks like the car is about to actually launch off too. Oh, fancy this. Ah, oh, look at that. This is one of my favorite things. The Boathouse is definitely one of my favorite restaurants, but we gotta keep to something, something just we haven't eaten at like a lot. You know what I mean? It doesn't have to be the first time, just something we don't go to that often. 
Enzo's Hideaway is a restaurant I feel like I haven't eaten at a lot. And I really like the uh, idea behind it. It's a little tunnel uh, bar and restaurant below this whole entire complex. It's really cool because all of these restaurants connect. You have Enzo's Hideaway, you have Ponte uh, Pizza, Pizza Ponte. Then you got Maria and Enzo's over there, the Edison. All of these like connect and I always talk about it. So I think we're gonna actually go down there. I think we're gonna eat at Enzo's Hideaway and I'll show you like the secret passageway that you have to take to actually get over to the Edison and the other parts. It's really cool. In fact, maybe we might eat outside if they let us. Cause this is like a nice little area to sit and dine. Look at, you can sit by the water underneath the bridge and you can watch the sunset. Well, I don't know. I kind of like both ideas. Over here, this is the entrance. Look at this. It kind of looks like a speakeasy. And then as you walk in, you'll notice like you're kind of like underground in a tunnel. We're gonna actually walk through all the restaurants right now so I can show you what I was talking about. And it's cool because right now we are in uh, Maria and Enzo's. No, we're, right now we are in Enzo's Hideaway. Uh, but I'll show you how we get to uh, the Edison. It's actually over here. It's a really cool passageway. If you walk all the way to the back of the restaurant, you'll see this little area where they have like a table and a bunch of bottles of wine. And you just go to the left of it. And I, I've showed this before. And uh, you come back here and it's not backstage. This is uh, open to the public. And you come in this hallway. See there it says cast members only. And you take this hallway straight down. Look, see restroom. And this takes you into the Edison. Look at this. How cool is that? We're in a different restaurant now. This is like the uh, steampunk restaurant next door. It's kind of cool, huh? And like I said, you can just walk in and out that door right there. In fact, it actually shares the bathroom. The bathroom that's in between, that's in the hallway, where we were walking is the way to get to the bathroom. Like That's why it said restroom ahead, because it connects by the restroom. So I think it's just kind of cool. It reminds me of the uh, beginning, or reminds me of the Goodfellas scene from the movie when they're walking through the, uh, the back of the restaurant. That's what that reminds me of. Look at that, it's kind of cool. Now that I'm here, I kind of love it and I think I'm just gonna stay. I think we're just gonna stay here and actually eat here. It's so awesome and I think they have an outdoor seating area. Even though I love seating like on the inside and it's two stories so you can sit upstairs and downstairs. But I really do want to sit outside. It's such a nice day. You know what I mean? I think it's uh, right over here they have the outdoor seating. If I wasn't sitting outside, I'd love to sit over in that couch area there. It's got a nice little lamp but I wanna catch a sunset. We made the right decision. This is beautiful out here. I mean, I liked I liked uh, Enzo's Hideaway because it was under the bridge, but you wouldn't be able to see the sunset. But this view, you can see the sunset and so much more. I love it. And the Edison's food is pretty good. They got very fancy bacon, which they told me if I want to get the fancy bacon, I got to go inside because they light it on fire or something. Like, uh, they do something fancy with it. I had it before. It's pretty cool. Uh, but I could just order the food at the bar and then come sit out here. It's, it's literally perfect perfect just look at this view i mean honestly wow it's like kind of right behind like the balloon is right in front of the sun right now so it's almost like an eclipse and uh it's time to head inside real quick i'm gonna grab a table i'm gonna go get our bacon oh wow this is fancy bacon look at that holy moly you torch it Oh, wow. Now I see. There's a show. <laughs> it smells good, right? It does, it does. I feel like the show is necessary for this bacon. I mean, the bacon looks fantastic. It's thick, and I love how the fire made the grease come down, uh, but it is $18. $18, isn't that? That's a lot. Holy moly, that's almost $5 a slice of bacon. $5. <laughs> five dollars oh wow i gotta see what this five dollar bacon tastes like 
I have had this bacon here before, but I can't remember. I remember it being really, really good. Uh, so here we go. Mmm. I can tell you this bacon is definitely some of the best bacon I've ever had. Like, I don't eat bacon, like, you know, all the time. Like, I don't eat bacon, like, as a side, like, for breakfast. But this is amazing. And I probably would pay $5 for it just to be able to eat it with this view. Bacon with the view is worth $5 or $20. Look at that. It's so beautiful. On top of the bacon, I got myself a short rib, and it looks gigantic. Look at that. And also, I got myself a little Pellegrino. Little Pellegrino. Put it right in there. Bump, 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 bump. Pellegrino, short rib, bacon, sunset. Ah, that's what I'm talking about. I am just loving this natural lighting. Look at the color. It's like so orange out right now. Everything's golden. Oh, stay golden, pony boy. You guys know where that's from. Let me know in the comments. Stay golden, pony boy. Let's look at this uh, short rib. Why am I having an issue trying to unwrap my napkin? I'm just trying to eat my short rib. There it is. There it is. There we go. We'll do a little short rib. Uh, pulls apart, little mashed potatoes. All in one bite. To you, the Edison. Have a wonderful night. Wow, the food here is amazing. They definitely redid the menu. They definitely redid the menu because I remember they had prime rib here, but look at this short rib just falling apart. So tender. Wow, and a good portion of mashed potatoes and green beans there. I'm all about it. Well, the sun is just about all the way set. Look, you can actually see some of the, uh, the boats in the water behind me. Look at that. Isn't that so cool? But anyway, the sun is just about set, and I think they're starting live music on the inside. My meal's all done. Everything was fantastic. I love this whole experience. But I think I'm going to go inside and show you guys the live entertainment, and then we got to go to Sprinkles. We got to get ourselves a, we got to get Gracie or a pup cake. Isn't that just great? I feel like tonight has been so fun. Like I feel like I've just been having a great night hanging out at Disney Springs and just kind of like just bringing you guys along with me. And I don't know, maybe we'll walk around a little bit, you know, maybe check out a couple more stores and uh, who knows, uh, maybe we might end up getting something. But oh, we gotta go get Gracie her pup cakes. That's what we gotta do. So that's where we're going. Off to Sprinkles. <laughs> Also, it's kind of cool to be able to show you guys what the springs look like at night. It gets so nice and majestic and beautiful. We're going to make our way over on the complete opposite side. You can actually see Sprinkle straight ahead there. That's where she's at. Oh, I got my Pellegrino with me still. Pellegrino! I don't know why I love it, but I do. It is like 67 degrees out tonight right now and I'm kind of really cold like I'm walking through the springs right now and I'm I'm shivering <laughs> even though I got the hoodie on I'm still pretty cold I can't believe it Gracie loves sprinkles yes she does yes she does gotta get her her little sprinkles hey how are ya Ba, 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 ba. Ooh, they got a pumpkin one. And then they also have a chef series. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna add a couple. I'm gonna add a couple. I mean, I'm gonna add a cupcake. Let's see, where's Gracie's? No, I don't see any hair. Nope. There it is, the pup pack. Done. I got them. 
I got them. <laughs> Do you want pop cup? Who wants a pop cup? Huh? You want one? Oh. Oh. You want this? Huh? Oh, there it is. And with that, we are done here today. If you couldn't tell, I am back on my old camera just temporarily until I can find a new camera only because this one is literally on its last leg. Like, like I said, I, I was talking about this in my last video. I have tons of different Canon G7Xs. They just don't make them anymore. I tried to get in my Best Buy. I looked on Walmart, Canon. All these places, they're just temporarily unavailable. Some places you can get them, but I don't trust those sites. And I bought them from there before and they usually end up coming like with dead pixels in them. So I tried the Sony ZV-1 Mark II and I didn't like the audio, it wasn't that good and I don't like wearing an external mic. The Canon G7X Mark II is just good enough on its own that I don't need to wear a mic. So why would I buy a camera that I need to buy an accessory to use when I had a camera that could do it all? So hopefully I could just find a camera that's kind of similar to it and well, you know, test it out see how it goes but thank you to everyone that caught on and let me know uh, that the audio was bad but as soon as I was editing it I was like oh yeah I knew it so I agree with a lot of you so anywho I hope you enjoyed the video I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time bye